and fantastic science, growing your own replacement parts in a lab. This is the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. Every day in this country, people die waiting for a donor organ because there's a critical shortage. About 98,000 people are on a waiting list for transplants right now. Many of them will die before they get one. But now a new generation of researchers is changing that one cell at a time. And what they're doing is truly amazing. Wyatt Andrews goes inside this brave new world in our special series, Growing Miracles. Body temperature. Right. That's for the same temperature as inside your body. In what you might call the laboratory of the future, Dr. Anthony Atala is manufacturing body parts. Actually, here you see an engineered blood vessel. You can actually see the, the vessel beating. From blood vessels to muscle tissue, Atala and his team at Wake Forest University believe, in theory, anything inside the body can be grown outside the body. They've made 18 different types of tissue so far. That's a heart valve. This is a heart, an engineered heart valve a pulsing heart valve to be transplanted into a sheep. When people ask me, what do you do? We grow tissues and organs. You really are making body parts. We are making body parts that we can implant right back into patients. Once considered a Frankenstein fantasy, the field of regenerative medicine is on the verge of unimagined breakthroughs. Scientists believe every part of the body has cells capable of regeneration. All researchers need to do is isolate those cells and coax them to grow. You're using heart cells yes, in an inkjet printer. Yes. yes in yes. this lab, they're making the heart of a mouse, a heart they grew layer by layer by spraying the cells with a printer. So your heart cell is programmed to make more heart tissue. Your bladder cells are programmed to make more bladder cells. And it's Atella's work with human bladders that's truly on the frontier. In a clinical trial at Thomas Jefferson Hospital in Philadelphia, this patient is getting a bladder transplant with a new bladder grown from her own cells. Using Dr. Atella's regeneration techniques, her cells were isolated, multiplied, and seeded onto a biodegradable scaffold. Eight weeks later, her new bladder is in the operating room ready for transplant. Every day I'm amazed. Dr. Patrick Cheneau is her transplant surgeon. Are you thinking this is the future? Yeah. It's very much the future, but it's today. We're doing this today. What's coming from this technology is a future of highly personal mail order medicine, where in order to cure your disease, your physician will order a replacement organ or body part, which will be custom made for you using your own cells. For the tens of thousands of patients who need organ transplants, this technology brings hope. Hugh Snyder needs a bladder. And this would be a bladder from your own cells? Yeah. I would never have thought that it was going to be possible to do this kind of thing. Corporate America already sees what's possible. The Tengion company has bought the license, built the factory, and is already making the bladders developed at Wake Forest. We're actually building a very real business around a very real and compelling patient need. Dr. Steven Nickberger, Tengion CEO, says the company also plans to mass produce blood vessels and kidneys. In regenerative medicine, uh, I think it is similar to the semiconductor industry of the 1980s. You don't know where it's going to go, but you know it's big. This brand new kind of medicine and this brand new industry are set to change the landscape for transplanting organs. Patients in the future, instead of waiting years for a donated organ, will wait a few weeks and grow their own. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Wow, and tomorrow in part two of Growing Miracles, this man lost a fingertip. Now it's grown back. See how science is helping the body heal itself in amazing new ways. That's tomorrow right here on the CBS Evening News. Meanwhile, coming up next...